17. He's in trouble, he's gone. Gets it out, long, now Lloyd goes, long chips it, he's got him. Avondale Heights uh, was where I grew up, it's where the family still lives and you know, obviously I was the youngest of the three brothers so I was always going up against people older than me and challenging them in the backyard. I think it toughened me up a fair bit, um, being beaten up by the two older brothers but uh, football was just the conversation, it was a huge part of our lives. He rushed in and kicked out of Lloyd. What a marvellous player this man is. He's just a kid and he's really showing something today. This time last year, both he and David watching Bert and Ernie. I remember um, I got invited to the draft combine. I, I had no idea where I stood within the scheme of 16 year olds in the country. And anyway, the next day I picked up the newspaper and there I was on the back page of the Herald Sun. It had um, the number one junior in Australia, Matthew Lloyd, could end up at Essendon in a complicated deal with the Fremantle Dockers. So there was a chance I could have gone to Fitzroy because Fitzroy finished bottom of the ladder. But obviously Essendon was able to do a, a complicated deal with the Dockers to uh, you know, land the number one pick and get me to the Bombers, which is fantastic. Kick, but it goes into the hands of Lloyd on the half-back flank. The half-forward flank for Essendon and Lloyd comes in and kicks a goal. I was combining both going to school, playing school football and also playing AFL or VFL football and uh, it was really daunting uh, walking into Essendon, you know, 78 kilos, 16 years of age. Uh, I could sense that some players say with Scott Lucas and myself, here's these two young bucks, who do they think they are maybe trying to take our position in the team? So it wasn't easy at times. I think there was a few times where some older guys were trying to intimidate you, but at the same time, we were a man in, I was in, a man in a hurry wanting to play AFL footy straight away. So I got to play uh, in the NAB Cup as a 16 year old. And I remember playing on Mickey Martin and he worked me over and I thought this is a big change to what the football I'd played previously. So I remember my first breakout game was the it was it was a game against the Adelaide Crows. I'd come off a broken thumb, so it was year two. I was having an okay first quarter and James Hurd actually patted me on the shoulder and said, it's tight, it's your time. And it was only game 10, but he said, if, if you need to sit on my head, sit on my head because I reckon you're holding back. Side 50, the high five. Oh! Thank you, Lloyd, thank you very much. It was probably the greatest thing I needed because I actually kicked seven goals in my 10th game and it was then that got my first best on ground and um, you know, I believe that I belonged at AFL level. And over the top, Matthew Lloyd. Troy Cook flips it up. Here he is. That's the third opener. Regains his footy. Still with a little bit of footy before half time. Blunfield, Lloyd's got a beautiful lead. We were winning our first few games of 2000 by 10 goals plus, and I felt like there was a real, well, we'd beaten a lot of teams before they'd even run down the race. That's, yeah, we had a tough back line, a really deep midfield, and then a star studded forward line. That first final against North Melbourne of 2000 is probably the greatest team football I've ever been involved in. I needed six goals to kick the 100. Sheeds opened up the forward line for me in that last quarter. I needed two. I was on Mickey Martin, who was a player who really worried me and troubled me through the early part of my career. Chips and he's got him! Security guards ringing the oval. Well, come on, Matthew, get the goal, eh? Just 22 years of age. History. He's got it. Oh, it was surreal. It was pretty suffocating. I'll never forget the look on the guys' faces of jubilation for me and that seeing all these people charge on the field. So it was a really special moment. We won by 25 goals and then won a prelim by 10 goals, a grand final by 10 goals. So I probably didn't appreciate that year like I should have at the time to present the common medal to Matthew Lloyd of Essendon.